What is up, everybody? My name is Nathan Dashke, and welcome back to the UFC 4 Featherweight Division. And today we are doing our second showcase of the fighter, Rafael Asansao. We have played him once before in the Bantamweight Division, but now we get to try him out in the Featherweight Division. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting, but I'm just going to tell you we're going to mix in striking and grappling and see what we can do with this man. Let's get into it. Our first fight is up against an Arnold Allen. We actually played Arnold Allen recently, like I would say about two days ago. And I think I've been doing good keeping up with the video uploads. Like one UFC every day and then every other day you're going to get a horror game. And then I'm eventually going to take breaks here and there from the UFC. Like probably once I get halfway through the featherweight division. So, uh, But yeah, we're versing an Arnold Allen. So this is going to be interesting. Arnold Allen is deadly. We do know this. We went five and one with the man, and we had a pretty, pretty good, pretty good showcase. Okay, he's being very patient and not throwing a lot right now, which kind of gets me off guard. But we're gonna hip toss him, and he doesn't want to throw anything, and just kind of block this. No, nope, we do not block that. He's gonna stand up, and we're gonna get a knee off the stand up right here. Nope, no, stay, stay, okay. We had to take him down because he was trying to hip escape. No, sir. Stop. Okay. We did not get our knee in, which makes me sad. But we got to do what we got to do. Okay. Okay. This Arnold Allen is getting in my face, man. I do not like it. But uh, Rafael Sanza has good boxing and great grappling. I'm pretty sure he's a jiu-jitsu fighter. So... We can always ditch to what we have to if we need to. Okay, block that. Boom. Missed that kick, which makes me makes me not too happy. Boom, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Get him on the ground. Boom, there we go. We tricked him right there. That's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Okay, we get the body. Boom. Okay, he's a little nervous now. He's more... More shaken up than he's been the whole time. Boom. Hip toss, boy. Get on the floor. All right, let's dig in these elbows. Oh, man, dude, he's eating it away. Come on. Arnold. Arnold. You're going to lose, buddy. Oh, man. That was almost it, dude. We almost got him with the ground and pound. Okay, we're just going to have to stay back. Get that leg rocked. Uh-oh, what's going on? Boom. Okay, let's be, be patient. We got that leg. Boom. There we go. We hit the head. Boom. There we go. Get the hands in. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to hip toss him. Boom. There we go. Dude, we are shredding this man. Oh, wow. I don't remember Rafael Sanzo being this good in the bantamweight division. But also, I've gotten a lot better than the time we played him, most likely. Like, I probably played him a long, long time ago. All right. We're going to work our ground and pound here. Hopefully, he does not dodge any of this and get up. But we're just... Oh, no, there we go. He got up. He tricked me. Boom, we hit that leg. See, we got to get him nervous about this leg. He's so nervous. All right, we're going to go. Boom, boom. All right, oh, no. We got hit right there. Okay, oh, God. Stay back. Boom. Nope, doesn't get through. Okay, we hit the leg again. Just keep chopping the leg. He's nervous about that leg. Swear on it. Swear on it. Okay. Boom. Oh no. Boom. Okay, the hooks almost get in. We're gonna go leg. There we go. We rocked his leg again. Boom. Body. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. Okay, there we go. We got a rock right at the end. He had me a little scared there for a second. We we're kind of boxing in the pocket right there. Look at that beautiful hip toss. Just what, what else do you even need to show? That's just such a beautifully crafted hip toss. This dude's amazed. He's like, wow, wow. That was really. That was really good, man. <laughs> okay, let's see what he brings up. We're never in the save zone, especially against Arnold Allen. He's a little patient with his striking, but hey. We can we can we can just read that patience and kind of kind of pick our shots. We were doing really good that last round. So as long as we keep up the rhythm, He's definitely switched his stance, so I can't hit the leg that's damaged, but he may switch back, and if he does, if he does, we're going to nail it, but right now we're just going to eat away at his body and his head, and then kind of start working the leg on this side, because we just want to get him looking low, trick him, oh, no, 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 see, this is what I'm talking about, man, always got to be on guard, okay, 
Okay, let's stay back. Whoa, whoa, we're taking too much damage. Boom. Nope, that does not get through. It was very close, actually. Okay, boom, we chop the leg. Boom, go high. Doesn't work. Okay, boom, we get the body. All right, he's a little more nervous now. I'm picking him apart. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, buddy. What's the dealio? What's the dealio? What's the dealio, Arnold? Boom, we got the leg. Boom. Oh, man. No, no. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh-oh. That's what we got here. Boom. There we go. We hit him with the high kick. Rafael Sunsau is a beast in the featherweight division. Wow. Wow, let's, let's take a look back at this freaking kick, dude. That was crazy. I set it up right before he went for his kick. Look at that, man. Dude, he would have had me stunned just as bad, bros. Whoever's kick hit first. Let's go. I don't know. All right, for round two, fight two as Rafael Sanzo in the featherweight division, we are going to be going up against a Conor McGregor. This is a very tough matchup. Conor has very heavy hands and amazing kicks, like surprisingly amazing kicks. Because I know he was always very kick heavy early in the UFC, but like he doesn't really use the kicks that much anymore. So let's see what we can do there. Oh, wow. So here's what I'd already noticed off this guy right here. He's very offensive, no defense at all. So we just need to be careful. We need to defend and hit him with our counter shots. Okay, boom, there we go. Boom, we're eating our way. Boom, stay back. Boom, get that body in. Boom, hip toss. Nah, dude, it didn't do the hip toss. It did the normal one. What the heck? It just, it switches randomly. Okay, we need to be careful. Like I said, Connor has such heavy hands, bro. It takes one hit and you're fucking knocked out. Okay. Boom. Okay, he got a little pop there. Boom, we got it. Let's go. Let's go, Connor. Boom. Okay, we're going to stay back. Pop that. No, dude. He caught my leg, bro. Just barely. Just barely, this dude. Oh, man. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Boom. There we go. Now's the perfect chance. We're going to see if we can grab him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He caught me with an elbow on the inside. Okay, so now we need to know to watch out for elbows. Boom. But there's the hip toss. Let's go. Digging. No, sir. No, sir. You're done. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Is this it? Connie. Connie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, you let the one thing happen. Dude, this dude does not know how to grapple, bro. Oh man, man, he's mad. He's mad. He respects it though. Dude, I caught him good, man. He was doing really good defending the takedowns earlier, but like, he did not defend that one good, man. Rafael Sanz as a beast, two and zero. For the third fight, we are going up against a Brian Ortega. Now, this is a very interesting matchup because I think I think it'd actually be pretty even, mainly because Brian Ortega is a very good grappler, but so is Rafael Sunsau. So I think it's I think this would be a pretty close match, but I think Brian Ortega, in real life standards, Brian Ortega would take out Rafael Sunsau. Because even Cody took out Rafael Sunsau. Cody's bad now. You know, like, Cody's, like, losing. But uh, let's let's pay attention to this match now and focus on what we got to do here. To win. All right, I'm just going to stay back against this fence. I kind of want him to come to me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Chop a leg kick. Boom. <laughs> All right, now let's get focused for real. Okay, I like how I just say, let's let's focus for real. And then I throw, like, three shots that miss. Boom. Now he knows I can take him down. Boom. That's a headshot. In. Tries to go low. Okay, so we got to catch him with the uppercut. This man seems to be going low a lot. I definitely... We got the rhythm down, though. We're blocking good. As long as we're blocking good. We got nothing to worry about. Mm, oh, oh, what happened? Okay, he, he rolled out of that one, which is good. But. Okay, come on, buddy. He thinks he's nice with it. No doubt. Okay, we're going to try to... Ah, dude... We went the wrong way, man. I was trying to catch him when he slipped into the left or the right, but we just did not go the right way. All right, 
The only solution is I'm going to have to overcrowd him. Here we go. There's our chance. Oh, my God. And we clip him. We clip him. What is this? Oh, my God, dude. That happens so fast, bro. Instinctually. Next up, we are going against the Max Holloway, my least favorite arena of all time, the Kumite Arena. And the only reason I truly hate the Kumite Arena is because of the music. It's very distracting, especially... But I play with no sound usually, so... I just like the vibrations. It's more it's more relaxing. Sometimes I'll play with sound, sometimes I won't. Just depends. But you know what? Enough of these Max Holloways. We're starting off with the hip toss right off the bat. Because if there's one thing I hate is versus Max Holloways. Literally in the last episode, when we played a Maquan Americani, we had a verse like five Max Holloways, and that was very tedious. So we're not here to play any games. I'm gonna dig into the body right here. And just we're we're gonna win this one. I assure you, we're on a roll with Raphael Sanza so far. Like we have been just messing up and tearing the shitty with this man just uh, i don't even know what wording to use we've just been tearing it up very good like the last knockout was insane man i can't believe i got that brian ortega that early but okay man we are losing this striking match right now i need to be very careful very careful as of right now we're looking towards a 6-0 and, oh, and i want to get a 6-0 and oh, so i really need to be very calm here we are boom Okay, okay, what you bring him? What you bring him to the table? Boom. Okay. Doesn't boom. Alright, there we go. Boom. Okay. Nope. He goes for that flying knee, and I'm not gonna let that flying knee get through as I let that flying knee get through. <laughs> oh, this Brian or not Brian Ortega. Why am I still on about Brian Ortega? I mean this Max Holloway is very There's so many names I have to say throughout these episodes so like it's you, know, you, get, you get the jumble a bit i don't know what i'm doing right now man i'm kind of fumbling the bag i need to pay attention here oh no oh no yep okay screw off max screw off dude oh we need to take this man to the ground if we can but i don't know if we're gonna win this striking match we'll see we'll see Oh no, dude. Look, he's just spamming those elbows, man. Boom! There we go. We hit him. Boom! Okay. What's going on? Can we do... Can we give him something? There we go. Boom! Boom! There we go. Oh! Oh! What's up, Max? Oh, what's up, buddy? And he falls. And he falls to Rafael Asans out. And the man quits, bro. We caught him good. And he's mad. He's mad we caught him good. That's freaking 4 0 with Rafael Sanzo. Let's go. Let's go. Somehow we ended up with another Max Holloway in the Kumite Arena. Two things I hate in this featherweight division. First one is fighting in the Kumite Arena. And the second one is fighting a damn Max Holloway. He's just replaced TJ Dillashaw, man. We used to you know how many TJ Dillashaws we used to see? So many TJ Dillashaws. But you know what? All we can do is come in and beat this man. If he thinks he's got what it takes, we're gonna we're gonna come in and beat this man. All right, you gonna tap up? No, he's not gonna tap me up. Boom! There we go. We're starting off good. We got two hooks on the inside. Okay, he's definitely working his kicks a lot, so we need to watch out for kicks and be be patient. Be patient when we come in. Take our time. Boom! Get to the body. Oh no! He hit us there. That's not good. Okay. There we go, there we go. Boom, we're gonna hip toss, boom. Okay, he blocks that one. Good on you. But you got caught with the head kick coming up, which is exactly our plan. We wanna just kinda overcrowd him to where he doesn't know what to do. And we slam the hip toss. Uh-oh, buddy. No, 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 no. Is he gonna fall easy? Max all the way. Get out of here! You fall to the great Raphael Asanso. Well, that's 5-0, and oh, guys. We got one more match to determine if we can go 6-0 and oh with Raphael Asanso. And this is definitely making up for the Bantamweight. I don't know what we got in the Bantamweight video, but probably was not as good as this. But let's look at that, man. 
he just, he fell for the hip toss. He did go block it at the first time, but fell for it the second time. And if you get caught on the floor with Rafael Sanzo, you're done for. What can I say? This is a very interesting last fight. We are going up against a Frankie Edgar, and I have not seen a Frankie Edgar since the bantamweight division. So it's very, very fun to fight a Frankie Edgar. That may mean we get to grapple a little bit more, but we're on a 5-0 win streak right now. So like, this fight, it, it's it's for the books. Everything is on the line here. And we're in the Contender Series Arena, which I actually really like the Contender Series Arena because it makes the graphics, like, kind of more clear, if you know what I mean. Like, does it not look better than it would if it was just normal UFC match? Kind of more animated. All right. So we're definitely, we're just crowding this Frankie. So, nope. I guess we're not crowding him anymore because we got rocked, but... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We, we rocked him, though. We rocked him. Okay, that's still a win-win. Okay, whoa, whoa. This is not good. Okay, I need to be I need to be very vigilant with this blocking. There we go. We got up. We got up. We got up. Okay. Guys, I'm kind of fumbling the bag. Okay. You know what we do when we're fumbling the bag. Only solution. I'm going to have to grab him and hip toss him out to oblivion. Okay, let's see if we can get some shots in here. Okay. We got two through. Two is better than none, if you know what I'm saying. Boom. Okay, he did good there. We're gonna try to take it. No, he flips me, man. Oh no, Frankie's a better grappler. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, dude. I am in the crucifix. Okay, let's get out of there. Try to get out of here. That works. Okay, we're gonna block here. We're gonna roll to our. S nope, doesn't allow us. Okay, we're gonna eat a few more strikes. We're gonna use the submission roll instead. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I think he's going to try to go over, so we're going to block that. Boom, there we go, there we go. And now's our chance. But he pushes us off. Oh, man, why'd you do that, buddy? Okay, you're going to make me, you're going to make me have to grab you again? Don't make me. Oh, dude, he blocked it. He blocked it. Oh, no. Okay, I need to be very patient and very vigilant here. I'm, I'm putting the 6-0 and on the line. Okay, okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Take it slowly. Take it slowly. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man. Well, guys, thank you for watching. That is it for Raphael Sanzo. 5-1. and one. Hit that like and subscribe button. And next episode, we'll be playing Edson Barbosa. Peace out.